Hello everyone, my name is Reclusive Z, and I am back with more Stalker Shadow Chernobyl Radiophobia 3. We uh, left off at the... Um, getting gaining entrance to the duty territory in the 100 Rads bar. Currently uh, up here and getting ready to move in. So, let's head into this next set of territory and uh, see what I find. Unfortunately, the guy I need to hunt is up there. And I don't know if I'll be able to get up there fast enough. So, I will see. Game is still damn dark. I am glad that Radiophobia 3 lets me, uh, wipe my face, or my mask, without putting my damn Geiger, or my detector away. Oh, hey! We've got a new vehicle. It carries 80. You bet I really don't have a reason to use these. I see a lot of animals up ahead. It's like an entire army of pseudo dogs. And that looks like a normie. Who the hell are you? Find the secret name Serpent. Oh yeah, I've got to do that still. Wow, all those pellets went right below its feet, huh? Nope, it died in an anomaly. And I never did pick up another knife. Whoops. Come over. We'll talk. Am I firing my slugs? Nope. Buckshot. Alright. I'm beginning to think the cat is unkillable. It ran headfirst into an anomaly. So, yeah. Let's see what this guy wants first. No, oh, I'm all right. Vagabond. Rostrock factory. Hmm. Yeah, not that that wasn't neat. You know what, I do... You know what, I'm gonna go up here. Because I can use him to fast travel. I'll fast travel back down, find, uh... Serpent. I don't know why I don't have this out. I don't remember this. That is an anomaly in front of me. That is several anomalies, I think. One of them grabbers. Here, I'll take your loot.
No meow mix. Hunters out here having a hell of a time. Beauty boys are lighting it up. Let's go. Pseudo dog down. Easy there, Hunter. Do it with one shot. Here, cat. Nope, I missed. Didn't miss that time. Or that time. Bad kitty. Gamix. Listen here. Hunter, are you still alive? Oh yeah, he's still alive. Sure. Actually, that's where I need to go. It's still expensive, though. How much time does this save me? 2245. If I had a road to garbage, that would be cheaper. How much time does this save me? It was like 22 something. Oh, that actually saved me a tremendous amount of time. There's a, another cat in here. Really beginning to think I should have carried some extra knives. I don't know. Maybe some nice military people up here will have knives for me. You know, if they've respawned. What a Sorno's carrying water. I wonder if I put it back. All right, so Serpent is supposed to be over here. I if that artifact's popped up yet. So how to get through here without getting myself fried. Oop, that is way too dark. Okay, so this is Serpent. Too damn close. Back up into my bin. Alright, I might have to bite the bullet on this one. Not exactly sure how to navigate this one.
Does he have any loot? Nope, that's just an empty corpse. Alright, so I should have just been smart enough to realize it moves along the tunnel and there's a gap I can get into occasionally. Good enough. So, Serpent's Diary, huh? Snake Diary cooking. My gear near the fence on the north side of the newcomer's camp under a large bush. Go find that real quick. Now, ready after some search, and I managed to refind it. It is directly in line with that. It's uh, what's right here? Wow. Oh, well, that would have been a hell of a start. Doesn't seem too different. Looks like it's got a laser pointer on it. I have a laser pointer uh, button. Hooray, it's got a laser. That's kind of neat. I'll put it in my stash box. No, we're ready. Well, I'm going to collect the uh, little bits of loot that are around. Why am I unable to zoom? What is going on? There we go. I'm going to collect a little bits of loot on my way back up. Drop my loot and, uh, drop my loot here and go on up. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm going there. Seems I missed that somehow. I want that SIG, whatever the hell that is. 552 Commando. Yeah, that sounds like an upgrade to me. Leopold Mark 8. Mm hmm. I'll be back. Alrighty, here should be another stash up near duty. Oh, I don't think I have that kind of ammo. Well, I do now. Zero five thousand meters, 75. 650, 700, 002. Slightly diminishing returns. Let's uh, strip my current gun. Leopold. It's not a bad looking sight. It's a good five, five, six, I guess. But I'm not going to give up my seven point. Well, my five point four five is, uh, yeah, I like it too much. I guess I'll go drop it and then head back into the duty territory. All right. So I'm back within the duty territory, heading to the 100, 100 rads bar and, uh, I'm stripping the animals as I go because, well, I brought a knife. Yeah, duty doesn't, uh, 
he doesn't mess around. Personal stash is always helpful. They just blew all these carcasses to hell, didn't they? All right. Go, buddy. Good to know. An arena. That's enough of this. Kind of remember this area. remember being told to go to hell though I think he just yells at me no matter what okay so he's just telling me to go to hell to tell me to go to hell Sounds about right. Oh, I'm at the 100 rad bar. Whoops. Is now where I was aiming to go. Theater of the Seekers. General Vernoni. V Ver Veroni. for Vardok. Who the hell is Vardok? I am just wandering around at this point. That's back outside. I'm really not remembering any of this. Uh, this looks like a... I don't know what this is. Здорово, Yuri. Что делать? Что делать? Не знаю, что делать. Спасибо, чувак. Ну, все, до встречи. Ah. Ну давай поболтаем. Мало в зону войти. Из нее еще выйти нужно. Meat chunks to a cash, huh? Neat. Not to remember that. All right. Hmm. 
Yeah, I noticed you got a tree or a light. No. I'm it. All right, and then there's his market, huh? Oh, gonna have to try and keep him in mind. See a little too late. All right, don't go that way. Just because they're laying down or sitting down. Doesn't mean it's safe to go around. Uh, and this must be, what's his name? Nope, this is Arnie. So what's this do for me? No, oh, neat. No lights. Then the ones overhead, huh? Feels like I'm in the gulag. <laughs> ah. What the hell? Why is that glowing? It's all my equipment. That's why it's glowing. Okay, maybe later when I'm bored. So the hundred rad bar. So there's an arena. I don't remember if that's normal. If I remember correctly, they take my weapon. I thought they took my weapon. I said, come in. Don't stand there. All right, I'm here. Why are you on the ground? Oh. Okay. What are the odds? That's an interesting interaction. Didn't fucking do much to me. Let's need to know that happens. No. Hunter. How did I manage that?
Чё тебе? Мама Бидс. Bloodsucker Lara. Find the family rifle. And the Bloodsucker Lara. I kind of remember that one. I was bursting out of a house, if I remember correctly. And the weapon of the duty here. Night Star. That's it, huh? And everybody's walking around. So that's the water tower. Somewhere in Dark Valley, got it. So it's it's over there. Alrighty. And everybody's gone. Have you brought the documents from the institute? Yeah, what do you got to show? My. Oh, the CS1 body armor makes a return. Hey! That's a bear detector. That's what they're gonna do. They're gonna tag, drag me along with that, are they? Or string me along, I should say. I only got a Mosin. Well, I know the bear is going to be a number one to have. I'm technically as outfitted as I need to be right now, except for that bear. And I can't attach any other scopes to this thing. Really? That's all upgrade. Kill the traitor, huh? All right, so where's the traitor located? Oh, I gotta find him, got ya. Well, I'm gonna hold off on that. The stalker named Basta. Basta. Documents at last. I need to have a look at them now, and maybe I'll work out how to get north. 
While I do that, if you have problems with money, you can fight at the arena. The owner of the arena is Arnie. I've uploaded his coordinates. Okay, the documents you brought from the Institute make some things a little clearer, but we're still missing the info we need to get a full picture. A lab designated X-18 is mentioned, and its description matches the abandoned underground vaults in the Dark Valley. Looks like you'll have to go there and get the info we need. The lab is closed, and you need two electronic keys to get inside. I'll give you one, but you'll need to get the other one from Bull in the Dark Valley. All you have to do is acquire the second key to Lab X-18, get inside and retrieve the second batch of documents. Don't forget to get yourself a protective suit, or you won't have a chance in hell of getting to the lab. So, will you do it? Oh, I guess. Oh, he's got a lot of these. Eliminate the bandits of garbage. I thought I did that. 15,000. Fifteen thousand and eighty-eight hundred. So he's upgraded my suit, I think. Nope, I lose night vision, but I gain. Thankfully, the suit's just damaged. He's got a guitar now. I swear to God, if he's got a Velus detector in here, yeah, I need to get that suit repaired. Need to get my helmet repaired. Everybody wants fucking something. All right, so what about your back room? Lash, huh? Yeah, it's expensive too. You can't go there. All right, so I've got to go to Dark Valley now. Didn't I have a water tower mission? Eliminate the mysterious sniper. Yeah, he was supposed to be, uh, spotted at night. Must not be night anymore. All right, I should head that way and eliminate him real quick. So I'll be back. So I was wandering around and I found, um, Vardok. Vardok seems to be, who are you? He's a medic. All right, so how about first aid kits? Yeah, you're not getting my soul. No. Uh, how about a job? Burn flower. Oh, my God. 
So, find him a fern flower. Alright, I need medical help. Oh! Too bad I... Eat. Mm. Alrighty, well, I've got 12 hours left, so I'm going to go this way, up this way, into the next zone. I'm going to put around in him. And then I'm going to go see Sidorovich and turn it in before 12 hours is up, so I will be back. Alrighty, let's head into the next zone real quick. Well, this is hell already. I... Don't know. I'm gonna say these are not friendly. I'm gonna say these are extremely unfriendlies. What do you got? PDA. Your duty. Max Sickle. Sold to the right person. Valuable. And a big ass knife. I will take a big ass knife. Oh, that's not a good sign. I don't know what I'm trying to find artifacts for right now. Got what they deserve. Okay, I need to beat them to that real quick. Fucking loot goblins. Mine. Mine. Damn it. Oh. Wind of Freedom suit. Oh, I got over encumbered real fast. Oh, what is the most unvaluable thing in my inventory? <laughs> Shit, I got nice equipment. I, I don't know why I'm carrying the damn stalker suit or CS1 armor jacket. Really need to should have gone back to garbage and dropped all this stuff off. I just need enough weight off of me. Yeah, I think he's going to get a helmet. Just enough to be able to move. Alright, my target is up there. There was more gunfire over this direction, but... Even if I loot him, I probably won't be able to carry it. I have to look into that gun. See how much nicer it is than what I'm currently wielding. Poor puppy out there. Well, I'm gonna say at least I got some good loot out of it. All right, well, I'm gonna try and talk to him first, and if I can't talk to him, I'm just gonna pop him at a distance. He has freedom, no. I think. You know what, just for the sake of it right now, because who are these guys, loners? This could end up going very badly for me. Because I've still got to pop his ass. I... I could probably make that shot from here. I haven't really tested this weapon. the exosuits I'm really worried about. Can I loot his corpse or will the loners be mad at me?
They are looting him. Shit. And I pop his ass before they... If I pop his ass up close, will they be mad at me? That'd be a no. Alright. There's some peace, Brother Stalker. Huh. Um. AK-105. I really want to pop a Hercules in order to be able to keep moving. He's successfully been popped. I'm going to make my way back to uh, Sidorovich, so... I'll be back when I'm turning that in, I guess. I'm back in garbage. I've decided to, um... Take some missions for Barkeep. Turns out our friend over here, over in the wastes... Yeah, I gotta go kill him. He's worth like 18 grand. And I gotta pop the bandits. They're worth like 18 grand. Pseudo dogs chewing on me. In the forest down in the valley. Is that what he means over there? Approximate location of the fern flower. Oh, and I can get it over there too. I was rubbish with anomalies and artifacts. Oh. I've never noticed those, uh... Okay. Anyways. So, yeah. I'm going to... Pause it until I get over here. I'm basically gonna snipe him from over here, take him out. Run all the way back through here, take out the bandits, go over here, get the fern flower, so on and so forth. So, uh, I'll be back. Alright, I'm back over here where supposedly the fern flower is, and, uh... What I see is a bunch of dogs. And a pseudo dog. What the f S scared the shit out of me. You silent asshole. Dog just got whirlied. Oh shit, I was not expecting him. I don't know where he came from. I didn't hear him at all. Whoa, he just spawned into existence. No, maybe not. There's a corpse right there, I think. I think that's... Where you at? I'm gonna cut up your friends. Another one down. Another one down. That is a bright red dog. Whoa. That was going pretty well. And then he ripped right through my armor. the hell was that bright red dog? Better question is, is how many dogs are down here? That is an anomaly. Fire, I believe. Uh, yep. Kentucky Fried, fuck you. Crispy bitch. Glad I s just barely seen it. Hit repair all my equipment. I think that's largely the issue I'm running into. All my equipment's getting pretty heavily damaged. The hell is that? Fern flower, huh? And a dead stalker. 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 Oh, I don't like that at all. 
I hear an electrical anomaly and I know and I know there's a whirly bird around here, a whirly gig. And a grab eye. I think I just seen the pulse from the whirly. Yeah, there's another one over here somewhere. Unless it's pointing me right at that one. What the hell am I looking at? Okay, he's just got bright red hands. Fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, I think not. to stay up high. Uh-oh. Nature's got me. It's claimed me. Uh-oh. I sworn... Hey. Hey, yep. Burn flower, huh? No shit. One that's funny about you, flower? Yeah, that eats all of your radiation. Who the hell wanted the fern flower again? The Vardok. Okay. He's the medical guy. I mean, who am I not to say no to a full stomach? There's something wandering around out here. There's someone out here with me. Yeah. <laughs> There's a zombified stalker out here. Highly armed. <laughs> Alright. Alright. This just got a thousand times more interesting. over here trying to figure out a flower and I'm being hunted. I was zombified? Oh, that's neat. I didn't know that was a thing. I was... I'm learning all sorts of stuff. This is kind of neat. Okay. Well then, uh... Yeah, I guess it's time for my happy-go-lucky ass to... stop fucking around. All right, so where are our zombies? Something actually did drop out of that box. There they are. It's one. Let's uh, recover here just a little bit. All right, it's handled. Mischief managed. All right, so I'm pretty sure. 
It's ammo. Well, hopefully I can get a controller hand off of him. But I think... Yeah! All right, now I can get that other artifact. No! Really? You've brought me a gift to Spaz A12. Or Spaz. Well, I hate to do it, but I'll probably be upgrading the shotgun to that. Too bad the other stalkers are gone. So that must be random upon a load. All right, let's go turn this mission into Sidorovich. Uh, I will be back. All right, we're going to go up here, get that one guy's cannon. I hate to say it, but the zone is alive with the sounds of what the hell was that? I am being heckled by fucking everything. Nothing that hasn't shown up so far is a bloodsucker and a pseudo giant. This guy's enhanced hand cannon out of here. I need a relic that gives me water. I don't know if he's friendly or not. Guess I'll know in a moment. I can only assume he's friendly. Doesn't seem to be giving me shit yet. Vova Occupant. Hey, you want a really beaten up Spaz A12 that explodes when you use it? And I don't know if it's because of how damaged it is or uh, if it's on account of something else, but I can't really attach anything to it. So I, I still like my uh, Taz 106. I'm trying to save all these to give to the scientists because I think they'll give me far more money for them. Yeah. All right, so what's his weapon? An AN-94, is that it? I think, there we go. Unique two shot burst function is at a state 1800 rounds per minute with a unique, both for the last, for the first two rounds. English, what? So what is this thing shoot twice? Should shoot twice, it's usually what a burst means. The two bullets? Some dip. I don't think it is. Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure I'm reading into that wrong. Whatever, one dude will get his weapon back. Rush on over to Sid. 13k. Find a heavy grenade launcher. Eliminate nimble. Why? Kawanot? 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 Really gotta take on nimble? Heavy grenade launcher like an RPG-7 or something? Okay, so I'm gonna wait for that. Eliminate the bandits at Agriprom, huh? I mean, I guess I can... What the hell is that? There's a blowout. Blowout's over and Nimble's all by himself. Sorry, Nimble. You're at 25 grand. Oh, and I got the male jacket back. Am I, be am I being shot at because, uh... Am I being shot at by the enemy or is the enemy shooting something else? I think... Whatever it is, they're pissed at it too. Okay, this is a bunch of shit I didn't expect.
As a Nimble's family? Where they at? There they are. It's one down. My nope, I'm not. Let's put those back on. There he is. Stop bouncing around. I need you to. Where'd they go? There they are. It's one. Two. So that's three hosts or three targets down. Oh, there's the military again. The military returned. I right, the military back. These three aren't the only one. See another military? I can't. I'm pretty sure. That's a yes. I need to offload if I'm going to loot is I'm going to need the weight capacity. The shit is going on. I mean, I, I will happily take more water. I'll take his body armor, too. Not that that wasn't fun to see the military return. I'll finish looting and uh, go do other things, I guess. And I've got to go back over here and take out the bandits. I'll probably do a lot of this stuff off screen. Is you know, it's not main story related, so. All right, let's turn in the quest I've been collecting. Night Star. Interesting. This guy collects information. Uh, sell PDAs. Oh, oh, that's it. Well, that ain't a lot. Fuck this. Fifty grand of cabbage. Okay, I want to save and see what that is. Okay, I want to check that real quick. Wormhole in the backyard of the bar, huh? Because I want to see if it's spawned right now. Backyard of the bar where nobody pokes their nose. I'll be back when I found it. So I've spent far too much time searching for that damn portal. I've actually saved my game before I gave him 50 grand because personally I find it to just not be worth it. I also had to use the uh, Radiophobia 3 Discord to try and find this thing because it says backyard and when they mean backyard they mean outside the game bounds. So they've got old videos that show how to get to it. I don't know how you're supposed to get to it under normal means. They took away that other way. I found this way which is stacking boxes, jumping up. Stacking boxes, I don't know why the boxes are fighting me so much. I don't know why I'm fighting with them so all of a sudden. You stack the boxes, you jump up here. I've been up here many times. There we go. Up here, over the wall. You're basically outside the map boundaries now. As soon as you're over the wall, you make an immediate right. The secret portal is funny enough, right in between this post and this bin. But before you do that, you can come this way.
And there is a dead seeker over here. Say hello to Romantic. You pick his stuff up. Use it. Go into your diary, pers not personal notes, found PDAs. There's Romantics. Right behind the western roadblock under the bushes behind the fence. I stashed some stuff. I haven't figured that out yet, but yeah. Because normally what'll happen is you'll roam around and you'll see him from this side of the fence, which is still in the game boundaries, because that leads over there to the army warehouses, and then off to the left leads over to the wild territories, which, you know, that's, that's how I went up to kill the one dude up here. So yeah, normally from two years ago was the video I found. There used to be a wagon or something over here. You could jump on top of it, jump up there, jump over the wall and get back here in order to uh, get to Romantic and uh, the secret portal. Okay, so I fucked up. So you have to pay him for the portal to show up. I loaded my game because of the boxes and didn't pay him. I'll be right back. All right, now that I paid him and it turns out it's a rather large bubble. Actually, it's about the same as a normal bubble. It goes from that post over to the corner of this bin. So if you enter within any area of this area, you end up in the back of the bar. I don't know what the point of this is other than there's a bandit back here. I don't know if he's part of the normal game or not. Damn, you can't go there. But uh, at least he's out of the way. So you can get out. I personally don't think it's worth 50 grand. Ah, so it's entering into there that pisses everybody off. Okay, so it's entering into there that pisses everyone off. So, yeah, that's that's that. And then you can talk to this guy. Mammy. So this guy wants me to do an errand. So he wants me to take out Borov. As he was trying to take over his group, basically he was throwing a coup and now he's here. And he wants me to kill Borov so his friends will get him out of here because, you know, Borov basically beat him to the punch. So basically what I need to do is kill him inconspicuously so nobody thinks this guy, Mammy, is the one who pulled the trigger and took, to, took him out. And he wants me to use a high power rifle that one of his buddies stashed away. But I can't be seen by anybody. Basically, once I take him out, uh, some bo some of uh, his own guys, Mammy's guys, will get him out of here. So yeah, he wants me to do that, but the problem is, is um, I've got to get Sidorovich's. Um, stuff back who is over in the dark valley so the problem with that is that's Borov over there that's the lab entrance I don't know where 
I, I don't know where Vovin is. The guy that's got Sidorovich's merchandise. So I don't think I can take this mission yet until I find Vovin, get the merchandise, then I can come back, take this mission, because in addition to everything else, hold please. I can also talk to this guy, because I reloaded my game before I gave him the 50 grand, and he will put in a good word for me with the bandits who are Borv's group. So he'll do that for, uh, I think it's 30 grand. Yeah, 30 grand. So he'll put in a good word with Borov so his group doesn't attack me. So he'll send a message, you know, as I said, down to Borov to tell them, you know, I'm coming in to talk to all of them. Because I don't know if I can get into this bandit territory without that to try and find Vovan if he's in here. But I also don't know if being in here invalidates the other guy's mission. Yeah, I just do not know a lot of things and I've grabbed these missions from Barkeep, which I'll be hitting on my way through to the Dark Valley. Also, um, that Agriprom bandit camp I took from Sidorovich. Yeah, I went in there, cleared it all out. Turns out there was a uh, bandit leader in there who gave me basically an upgraded version of a stalker suit. It's basically a stalker suit and a raincoat with modifications of, uh, applied to be more effective against projectiles. Damn it, if only someone helped. Common amongst the Sin faction later became a characteristic for Straylock's guys. So basically I'm wearing Straylock armor now. And it technically is at its health better defense wise than the current stalker suit I was wearing, and I get an extra artifact container. So, uh, yeah, I'll be back when I figure out just what the hell I'm doing, because I have a feeling that I'm going to reload back before I pay him any kind of money. I'm going to take these out, explore the entirety of the Dark Valley, test the defenses of the bandit camp, see if they attack me. If they do attack me, come all the way back up here, talk to him, pay him, just to see if Vovin is in here. Vovin's in here. Take him out, get his goods, go see Sidorovich, hopefully make back my 30 grand. Hopefully find the artifact, because technically there should be a pseudo giant in here, so I should be able to get a flash which will let me pay Barkeep to go into his back room. Once I'm in the back room, talk to the other guy, get his mission to take Borv out from over here, take Borv out, waylace to this entire bandit cluster, and then I'll move on. I've, it's, it's a lot of things to do, because now I need to test what fires flags in this game, or triggers flags, so I will be back. All right, so I've decided to see what this is like real quick. See what these guys have to say if... Nope, they don't have anything to say. Okay, they're evil. One down. So yeah, these are two jackass bandits over here. And, uh, yeah, so they're eliminated. That is a veteran's outfit, which technically, uh, in a way, beats my underworld leader threads, but I think it's only because they're damaged, but I also have night vision with those. Let's see if there's an artifact over here real quick. Yeah, nope. Back on the ground, I'll take it. And, uh... Ooh, right there. I'm gonna go drop my loot off, and then uh, I'm gonna end it right before I enter the Dark Valley. And that'll be, uh, this whole chunk of video. So I'll be back. So yeah, this is a good enough area to leave off. As I said, I'm right outside the Dark Valley's first entrance. 
So, thank you everyone for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have any uh, comments or concerns, feel free to leave them down below. If you have any hints, theories, lore, or just any information I think I might have missed, you can leave that down below in the comments as well. Or you know, if you just want to tell me how I'm doing, feel free. I won't mind. And uh, if you happen to have liked the video or any of the content I make, feel free to drop a like. I'd appreciate it. And I'm uh, currently with this video in the process of trying to refine how I edit and cut things out. I'm trying to make it a little bit more seamless, a little bit less. Uh, I'm trying to keep the dead air or the bloat down in the videos and try and make them, as I said, a little bit more seamless. Because I, I don't think I have a community yet that would enjoy an hour or uh, like an hour and a half, two hour, three hour videos. So I'm trying to, as I said, refine how I cut things down, trying to keep, you know, certain side quests that are normal and just kind of boring out of the way. And the ones that I find interesting are new in the video. And, uh, hopefully this one won't be too disjointed or cut up too badly. Now I'll see how things go. Maybe I'll take a less of an aggressive approach. But uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. I hope in the process of uh, learning, playing, and refining, I've earned a subscription from you. And uh, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye. And thanks again for watching.